What can we do to enhance teamwork here? Teamwork to me takes me back in time to whenever we were in elementary school. And if you remember the playground, well, the playground that we had in the elementary school is now the industry or the business or the organization that we work at. And the basic rules still pretty much apply. One of the first ones is you can't seesaw by yourself. <laughs> you remember when you tried? It doesn't work. You've got to have somebody on the other end of this. Someone that can get the reciprocal action going so that you're having fun. Because that's the name of the game when you go to the playground. You're supposed to have fun. Now, when we were little, we understood that. But as our playground changes, we think the rules need to change. They don't. Bottom line is you need to have fun at what you're doing or you're not going to be having fun. It's as simple as that. It's not easy to change processes. Going back to the playground, remember when we all like to get on the merry-go-round? Problem was, if you were the first kid that got to the merry-go-round, you had difficulties, remember? Because you had to get it started. And when you're six years old and you weigh about 45 pounds, that merry-go-round is heavy. And it takes everything you've got to push it and get it started. Now, if you're lucky, your buddy Billy, or Mary Jane, or even better, Mary Jane and Billy, get there at about the same time that you do and can help you push. It's a lot easier when you've got other folks helping you, isn't it? And it's a lot more fun. Now, this merry-go-round that was so hard for you to get started by yourself, now you've got help, it's easier to get it moving, and pretty soon you've got a bunch of folks up there helping you. And because you've got momentum making that merry-go-round go around, pretty soon you've got everybody riding the merry-go-round and one person sitting over there and shoving when the handles came by. And eventually, all they've got to do is just tap it. Remember? Because you've got momentum. You've got people helping you. And that's why it worked on the playground. We changed the playground to our business, to our job, to how we make a living. And we think the rules are supposed to change. They don't. They don't. But we have people that are changing. And one of the things that I found is, you know, you don't really want to give to malice what stupidity ought to own. Y'all ever known any stupid people? <laughs> have you known any malicious people? Or have you known stupid people that did malicious things? I think that's probably the biggest part of it right there. The, the aspect of how do we do what we need to do with all of the different personalities, all of the different kids at the playground. It's difficult. It's not impossible, but it's difficult. One of the true facts of nature is you cannot lead if you cannot follow. Now we learned this a long time ago in the military aspect. The, the saying is you will never be able to effectively give orders if you can't effectively follow orders. Remember when you were a kid at the playground, you had rules. We had rules that we had to obey. Why? Because somebody said we had to obey them. And we were pretty good at this, this aspect, the secondary aspect of leadership, which is followership. Followership. We obeyed the rules. If you didn't obey the rules, you didn't get to play, did you? Exactly. Now, there was another thing that, found, that we found at the playground. As a young boy, my greatest goal was to be Mickey Mantle. I loved Sandlot baseball. But you know what? I didn't always get picked for the team at recess. And the basic reason was I wasn't that good. 